controversial new health care plan that mandates all Americans have health insurance. Now, despite efforts to repeal the law and a rejection by the U.S. Supreme Court to overturn it on constitutional grounds, it is now the law of the land. It takes effect in full next year. Of course, it's complex and it's confusing. So what does it mean and how will this new health law affect each and every one of you? Our guest this morning is patient advocate Betsy McCoy, former New York State Lieutenant Governor, who has written a handbook for uh, dealing with the new health care law entitled Beating Obamacare. Betsy, welcome. I know you were a partisan, mm -hmm. but you probably... But that's you over now. We're going to look at this objectively. <laughs> that's right. Give us an overview, because I think most of us are very confused about it. I know you've well, read... Well, here it is, every all 2,000... Right, 572 pages, and I read it, Marvin, so you don't have to. Okay, you read it one <laughs> night, right? I'm sure. Not quite, but you put your <laughs> finger on it. It requires everyone to have health insurance, and not just any health insurance, but a kind of one-size-fits-all package of benefits that the federal government deems essential. And when you go to file your taxes, you have to attach proof that you are enrolled in that kind of plan or you'll pay a penalty. It also imposes requirements on employers who have 50 or more full-time workers. They have to provide coverage or pay a penalty and not just any coverage. It has to be that government designed package of essential benefits. And that's one of the first things that's happening to many people. Most people get their health insurance from a job, their own or their spouses. And many of them are now hearing that their employers are going to drop coverage before January. And the reason is that employers look at the price tag. This new, new essential benefit package costs about twice what many of them are accustomed to offering. What, what impact does this have on you if you have your own private insurance? Well, most people get their insurance at work, um, and it is private insurance. It could be Aetna, Cigna. United Healthcare, Blue Cross Blue Shield, or it could be a company that self-insures. It's private. But whether you get it at work or you get it through one of the new health insurance exchanges, it's going to be uh, one size fits all. It's going to be the government designed plan. And as I said, many people are losing their coverage at work and they'll have two options. Low earners will be put on Medicaid higher earners will have to make their way to the state health insurance exchanges. Now, everybody's heard that phrase now, what but what is changes? it? Right. It's a brand new thing. All 50 states will have them. It's going to be like a DMV style office, plus a website, plus an 800 number, and you will enroll in the government design plan, whether it's offered by Aetna or Cigna or some other company. It's all going to be the same type of plan, and there'll be four levels, bronze, silver, gold, or platinum. But don't be bamboozled by those fancy names. It's not like going to Tiffany's. It's all the same plan, but different levels of co-pays. The bronze plan has the lowest premium, but you pay the biggest co-pay when you go to the doctor. And the platinum plan has the highest premium and the lowest co-pays when you go to the doctor. Now, with, with much of the nation, uh, the baby boomers, and there's much concern about whether there will be money there for them in the Medicare programs. How well, will this impact first that? First of all, the most important piece of advice for baby boomers, and it's right here in the book, Beating Obamacare, is line up your doctors now while you're in your 50s or early 60s. Line up your internists, line up your cardiologists, because if you wait until you go on Medicare and turn 65, you won't be able to find a doctor willing to treat you because the law is going to pay doctors so little under Medicare that most doctors aren't going to be willing to take on new patients. Many doctors are going to take early retirement. They already uh, are, as you know. There's a big doctor shortage heading. Another area where I get emails all the time, almost every day from people asking me, is what about medical privacy? Because this new law puts into place penalties for doctors who don't enter your information in an interoperative electronic database. The goal is one national medical database, and everybody will have a page in it. But, and that, that has some good aspects to it. If you get, go to the hospital, your records get there. But there's also a big privacy problem because it means that, say you have erectile dysfunction or a drinking problem or depression, you go to the chiropractor, he's going to know about it. And so will thousands of other people who work for the federal government and have access 
to that data. For example, the president announced in January that he wants to relax privacy protections so they can use your medical records to do background checks for gun ownership. So a lot of people are thinking, I I'm going to have to talk with my doctor about keeping two sets of books, things that stay really private because we all confide in our doctors mm -hmm. and things that go in the database. Now, how, how will things change if you have to check into the hospital under, under this new health care? Well, uh, Richard Foster, the chief actuary of Medicare, has warned that hospitals are going to be in financial crisis, and here's why. Over half of this law is paid for by cuts to Medicare, including $247 billion less money for hospitals to care for the same number of patients. So Foster has warned that some hospitals are going to stop taking Medicare. I don't know where seniors are going to go. We'll see. But also, other hospitals will have to spread nurses thinner, increase nursing workloads, lay off some nurses, and that will mean that patients are going to have to wait longer when they need help. So if you have the financial resources, you might want to consider getting what they call a private duty nurse if you have to go into the hospital. Some provisions are in effect now. What are they? Oh, well, these are some of the most popular. Kids stay on their parents' plan till age 26. Uh, no co-pays for mammograms, colonoscopies, and other kinds of preventive care. Uh, quote, free contraceptives. Of course, none of this is really free. It's, re it's the reason your premiums are so much higher than they were And years the big ago. thing that takes effect next January? The individual mandate and the employer mandate. You must have insurance by January 1. This book will help you guide your way through this. And where can you get it? Amazon.com or your local bookstore. Beating Obamacare. Beating Obamacare. Betsy McCoy. Avoiding the landmines. Full of so much information. Thank you <laughs> Thank for joining you, us. That'll do it for our program for this week. If you have any comments or wish to see this broadcast again, log on to our website at pix11.com slash news close up. I'm Marvin Scott. Thanks so much for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, everyone.